Sometimes when you shoot a scene, you may not be able to have a camera movement during the shoot. But today I'm going to teach you guys how to make camera movements in Final Cut Pro. The best thing about making camera movements this way is that you can introduce all the camera movements after you've shot the scene without having to do all these movements during the shoot itself. Something that is worth noting though is that if you'd like to use this movement technique is that the higher the resolution that the video you use, the better the outcome would be because the movement does require you to zoom into your video. So the more pixel density you have, the sharper the outcome would be. So shooting in 4K or anything higher than that would definitely give you better to results, especially if you're outputting the video into HD. Okay, so the first thing that you've got to do is select the clip that you want to use. Once you've decided on the clip that you're using, start trimming the in and out points to exactly how long you want the clip to be. Once you're done with that, make sure your clip is selected and go to the inspector tab and click on the keyframe button on the scale of the clip. It should turn yellow indicating that it has just made a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Now skim to the end of the clip and go to the inspector tab again and click on the keyframe button and adjust the scale of the clip to about 20% or so depending on how much zoom you want the clip to have. Now play back the clip and you will see that you have just made a zooming in effect in post. Besides scaling up, you can also do other movements like rotation and position, just to name a few. So you should try it for yourself. Here's another cool movement you can also try to introduce onto your clips. This one is the handheld look and it's really easy to do. Once you've decided what clip you'd like to use, drag and drop it onto the timeline and go to the effect filter tab and select the handheld filter and drag and drop it onto the clip. You can also change the intensity of the look according to how intense you want the effect to be. Okay, so that's my quick tip for today. If you did find this tip helpful, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Also, link to all the gear I use to make this video are in the description section below. And if you do feel like supporting this channel with a small contribution, I have also left the link to our PayPal too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next Q-Tips.